Earlier in the class, we introduced the concept of microcontroller peripherals. We said that peripherals are parts of the microcontroller that do something the CPU is too busy to do, or they do something the CPU cannot do by itself. After defining peripherals, we introduced the watchdog timer and general purpose timer peripherals. For now, we want to revisit general purpose timers and see how a special type of function called an interrupt service routine can make peripherals even more useful than they were before. Take a look at this program, which uses functions to toggle the red LED on and off. The program begins by disabling the watchdog timer and making P1.1 an output. Then, three functions are used to initialize a general purpose timer and start it counting. Now, look closely at the if statement inside of the while loop. Essentially, once the timer starts counting, the program is continuously looking to see if the timer has finished counting. If the timer has not finished counting, the instructions inside of the if statement are not executed, and the program loops back around to the top of the while statement to check to see if the timer has finished counting again. Only when the timer is finished does the program toggle the P1.1 LED. The program then clears the timer overflow flag, and then it begins again its task of watching the timer peripheral to see if it's overflowed. Essentially, the program is totally consumed by simply waiting for the peripheral to complete its task. This is not ideal. Here's a flowchart that shows how this could be implemented in a better way. Ideally, once the program has initialized the output pin and set up the timer, it can go do some other task. While the general purpose timer is counting, the CPU can be totally preoccupied with something else. However, when the timer finishes counting, it can interrupt the CPU by sending out an announcement that its appointed task is complete. The CPU can then momentarily leave what it was doing and toggle the real LED. The CPU then can return to its previous work until the timer announces that it is done counting again. We can accomplish this all by using a special type of function called an interrupt service routine. In the handout for this section, we will show you how to create your own interrupt service routine functions to use in your programs for the general purpose timers. Now, as we introduce additional peripherals in this class, we will also incorporate all of the necessary information for you to use your interrupt service routines for them also. In our next section, we will look at one of the most useful things that microcontrollers can do while they are waiting for the peripherals to interrupt them. Believe it or not, many microcontrollers will actually go to sleep until the peripherals interrupt service routines sound an alarm to wake them back up. Again, please do not hesitate to ask us any questions you may have. And thanks for watching.